Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Techno, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8. In the last episode, I showed off the first part of the Zelda DLC by doing the Egg Cup at 150cc, and I actually got a 1 star ranking on it, which is really cool. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the next one, the next cup, which is the Triforce Cup. And as such, I'll be using Link on the Master Cycle. Now, what's really cool about this is that the fastest bike is actually... Well, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest bike. If it's not, it's one of the fastest. But anyways, the Jet Bike or the Yoshi Bike, since they have the same spats. Look at this. And then look at this. It has a better speed. Oh, worse acceleration, though. Uh, I don't really care for acceleration that much. I mean, it's good, but I don't really look for it in that. Um, the weight's better, the handling is a little worse, and the traction's a lot better. Well, not a lot, but basically the traction's better. Because what I don't like about the jet bike is that it has an inward drift, I'm pretty sure. Like, carts have an outward drift, or if it doesn't, it has an inward drift. But basically, its drift is opposite of carts. Now, I'm guessing that the Master Cycle doesn't have this. If it does, then oh well. But either way, it's better than these because it's faster, and I'm really excited for that. So, Link... Master Cycle, let's go. I'm really excited for this. Um, like I said, I did the Egg Cup last time. So now it's time to do the Triforce Cup. Wario's Goldmine from Mario Kart Wii. Rainbow Road from the SNES, which is Super Mario Kart. And then we have two new tracks. Ice Ice Outpost and Hyrule Circuit. Hyrule Circuit being a representation of Zelda, since this is the Zelda DLC. And with that, let's start. I am kind of excited for this. I honestly feel like... These courses are, they look to be better than the Egg Cup. And the Egg Cup was great, don't get me wrong. Honestly, I'm just really excited to race in Wario's Landmine, I mean Goldmine, because Wario's Goldmine was really good in Mario Kart Wii, and I'm really excited they brought this back. It's a weird choice to bring back, but I'm really happy they did. As usual, I like to honk the horn right before a race, because I like to. And let's go, Link, now let's see. Oh, nope, that has the same drift as the jet bike, so it has an inward drift, oh well. I was really excited because like this this bike is finally good, but no, it does not. I guess that's fine, whatever. It's not it's not the end of the world. It just really sucks how it has an inward drift, because now I'm not gonna be able to use it because I suck at bikes using inward drift. Now that I think about it, that's probably a bad idea since I'm gonna do horrible with this bike since I can't drift properly. God. That's gonna suck. Also, I'm pretty sure my banana peel block here. I mean I don't suck completely with it, but I'm not that good with that. I should have Whatever. I feel like using the Master Cycle with Link is probably the better option either way since, you know, it's a Zelda cart or bike in this case, I guess. And it'll be weird not to use that one with a Zelda character. So, yeah, I think it's the best choice. Though it sucks that I'm not as good at it. But it is definitely the fastest bike, or if it's not one of the fastest. Because, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Jet Bike and the Yoshi Bike are, are, are the fastest, or at least used to be. And this is now the fastest one. Either way, I'm really happy that... Really, this DLC is amazing. Like, seriously. We got um, eight new tracks, and we got three characters. Now, really, only Link is the real one people care about. Like, no one cares about Tsunuki, Mario, or Cat Peach. They're literally the same as, the, as Mario and Peach, but with a different skin. And we got four carts. Um, two of them being really nice. Um, oh, I fell. I knew sooner or later I was going to fall. Um... The B Dasher, I'm actually really happy about because it's another um, fastest car, you know. I because like I do like the uh, Circuit Special and all, but I really want a better car. And the B Dasher is, is one of my favorite. The B Dasher is one of my favorite design carts, and I'm really, really. I meant to drift right, not left. And I'm really happy that. Oh wow, maybe whatever him, Shy guy, I think um, got hit with a red show, so he didn't pass the sweets. Either way. Um, the B-Dasher is one of my favorite design carts in the entire Mario Kart series, and I'm really happy to return for Mario Kart Double Dash, and I'm really happy it's the fastest car because now I'm going to use it all the time. Um, the Blue Falcon is a shame that it's, it's not that good of a car in my opinion. I mean, I like fast carts, and because I'll never use it. And then with the Tanuki cart, I think that's what it's called, you know, the Tanuki whatever it is. The thing Tanuki Mario pr pretty much mains. Um, that's also not as good, though it's probably better than the Blue Falcon, which is embarrassing, and I'll never use that either, but yeah, I'm happy... I'm really happy about the blue, no, not the, the B Dasher, and I guess the Master Cycle's cool too. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut there to the left. There, there was a shortcut there to the left in Maru Kart Wii. I'm pretty sure it returned. I mean, why wouldn't they return it? But I'm not going to take it because I'm not going to risk it. And uh, yeah, I got first place. Uh, I really didn't have any trouble except for that one part. I'm doing really, really good. Uh, that's. I'm not going to jinx it, but like, I'm doing really good. Uh, I think it would be amazing to actually get a 3-star rank. It really would be. 
I don't know if I will, but like seriously, I it would be awesome. Oh, but here we go. SNES Rainbow Road. This stage is notorious for being extremely difficult. In my opinion, this is probably the most difficult Rainbow Road in the entire Mario Kart series. In my opinion, at least. And I have a cart that's not I'm not used to drifting with, so this is gonna suck. Now, um, what's weird about this is they actually returned this course already. Now, obviously, this was in oh, fuck. Um, this was in um, Super Mario Kart. I have not played Super Mario Kart, so I don't know. Oh fuck that. See, exactly. I'm gonna die a lot. Um, this was in Super Mario Kart. This is where it came from. I never played it, so I don't know. And this was also Mario Kart 7. Again, the game never played. So actually, this Rainbow Road is blind for me. Like, completely. I've never played this Rainbow Road before. I've seen videos of it, and I know it's hard, but I've never actually experienced it firsthand. And yes, it's difficult. The, the reason why it's so difficult is because there is literally, like, there's no wall or anything. You will fall off at every turn, so you have to be really careful. Uh, so obviously I have no idea how it changed from the original. I mean, it looks like to be the same because, you know, it's just like no boundaries. You know, you can fall off at any point, so it looks the same. But, like, I don't know. Someone who played either Super Mario Kart or even uh, Mario Kart 7 wouldn't know the difference. Also, yeah, I'm doing horrible. I got first place in Wario's Gold Knight, which I'm happy about. But, like, this race, I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm doing absolutely horrible. Oh, God, I had to stop. Yeah, I kind of expected to do better Rainbow Road, not gonna lie! Oh god, I thought I was gonna get hit by the thwomp, but I didn't. Also, the rainbow color thwomps, that's pretty cool. Last lap and I'm in fifth place. I'm not, I mean, it's not that bad, but I want to at least get fourth. I think it would be cool to, ah, oh, shit! I got hit by the thwomp and blew myself up with my own bomb. This is really not a good start! Oh my god, last lap, of course, I ruined everything. Yep, this sucks. This really does. Though I am going to say this right now, at least I'm not as bad as I was in the beginning of this Let's Play, because my god, I was really terrible there. How the hell did Bowser get hurt? Like, seriously, how did Bowser get hurt? He was just driving, and then he just got hurt out of nowhere. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm happy that he got hurt! Damn it. Fuck. And I'm pretty sure this next turn, it ends. Yep! Bowser! Okay, six. That's horrible. If I did not get hit there, I got hit right. I, I, I freaking forgot what happened to me. If I did not get hit at that last point, I would have did all right, but oh well. Well, one thing's for certain, no three-star ranking for me. I, I Actually, I'll be lucky to even get a one-star ranking. But like I said, my goal is to at least get a gold ranking, so it's not that bad. Ice Ice Outpost. I have no idea what this is from. I'm pretty sure this is an original course. Um, I don't know if it's model that for anything it might just be a mario course that they made i gotta say though i'm really happy that they made new courses in this i mean they only brought back three courses you know they didn't really go overboard bringing them back which i'm really happy about they only bring back yoshi uh circuit from from mario kart double dash uh wario's gold mine from mario kart wii and rainbow road from snes and actually it's this is the first mario kart game where there's actually three rainbow roads i that's mind-blowing there are three rainbow roads in this game there's Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 8, you know, the new one. There's Mario Kart, there's Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 64, and now there's Rainbow Road from, from Super Mario Kart. It's, it's mind-boggling amazing. Like, that's the most. Nintendo, please stop with the Rainbow Road remakes. I mean, I guess people want a Double Dash Rainbow Road remake. I mean, so do I. But, like, we have enough. Seriously, we have enough Rainbow Roads already. No more. Uh, oh well. Uh, I'm doing really good on this course, and actually, I gotta say, I was a bit unsure how this course was going to be. Also, I did well, actually, that kind of worked out in my favor. I was unsure about this course since it was called Ice Ice Outpost, but for an ice course, there's no ice, so I'm really enjoying this. I really am. So, good course. Nintendo, good job. This course is pretty good. Also, Link is an awesome character. And actually, I've actually looked up um, what people thought of the DLC, and apparently, literally everyone and their mother is racing as Link in online, which makes sense because Link was a very hyped character from Mario Kart 8. But like, Jesus Christ, I saw some videos of it. Literally, all 12 racers in, Mar in, in online play was Link, and the entire thing was a Link race. It was ridiculous. I mean, it's as if it's called Link Kart or Zelda Kart, right? Yeah, bad joke. I'm pretty sure people made that already. That's not, that's not even a joke, man. Uh, anyways. But yeah, Link is fun, and I'm really happy he came in, and the thing is, 
I don't know if I'm gonna start using Link now because I like Link. I mean, I like Mario more than Zelda. Yes, shocker, I know. Um, but like, I like Link in general, anyways. Like, I like him as a character, and he's the same as Waluigi, so I would have no problem, you know, getting used to him. I mean, in fact, I'm already used to him because he's practically Waluigi. But the thing is, I love Waluigi and I love using him. And while I do like Link, I feel like if I use Link, like, I'll be like everyone else because everyone's using Link now. Also, wow, I got first place barely. Um, everyone's using Link now. And I feel like if I use, if I continue using Waluigi, I'll be more original since no one's really using Waluigi. So, I don't know. I'll, I might stick with Waluigi. I might change to Link. I don't know. But one thing's for certain. I'm using the, the B, uh, Dasher. How am I? I keep forgetting the name of that card. Uh, the Mario's, um, standard card from Mario Kart DS. I'm pretty sure it's the B Dasher. You know what I'm talking about. The one I used last episode. I'm gonna be using that for now on instead of the Circuit Special because that one's great. Also, Hy Hyrule... Castle, right? Forgot the name already. Wow. Also, I know I said this last episode, but I love how there's a map in the corner now. So freaking good. Also, sadly, I cannot hear the music at all at any of these tracks because, you know, if I listen, if I hear music... Are these movies? Oh my god, Nintendo. Nintendo. You sly dog. You know what they did, obviously. They replaced the coins with rupees. That is cool. That is really freaking cool. Okay, Nintendo, I give you props for that. I mean, I'm not that big of a Zelda fan, but even I appreciate this. Wow. Look at that. Oh, okay, I, this is... Okay, I don't even like Zelda that much, and I'm, like, fanboying right now. This is really cool. Okay, people who absolutely love Zelda, I bet you're so excited right now, because this is really good. Zelda themes, Zelda enemies everywhere. This is really good. Holy shit. Also, Link... Throws out his master sword when he's uh, doing tricks. Cool. Uh, but anyways, what was I saying before? God, I got so immersed in the course that I completely forgot. Um, I don't know. Wow. Uh, let, let's. Okay, I need to get in first place though. Like I can't afford to lose. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll just drop it. I don't know what I was gonna say. But Hyrule Castle, pretty cool. Um, it reminds me a lot of Bowser's Castle. I think it's just because it, it's a castle. In fact, I think it's supposed to represent Bowser's Castle. Oh, I thought that was going to be a trick ramp thing. Oh, man, and I was in first place, too. Um, but yeah, this reminds me of Bowser's Castle, except it's Zelda's Castle. Well, technically it's Hyrule Castle, but you know what I mean. You know, it's, uh, it's like Bowser's Castle, but it's from The Legend of Zelda. So, yeah, similarly to how I, how I, uh, thought of Mute City as Rainbow Road, I think Hyrule Castle is like Bowser's Castle. Which it might be, you know, that might be what they're going for. But, oh well. But yeah, this is really cool. And considering I like Bowser Castle, I like this as well. But Bowser Castle is, is still better since well, Bowser's Castle is difficult. And this isn't that difficult. It's just really cool. And I, I and this course is good, you know. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, not, there's not a lot of stuff going on. Like, there's not that much um, hazards and stuff. Like, there's the grass, and then that's about it. I mean, there is that wall there that I bumped into, like, right here. But not that bad. Don't make me lose my first place, man. And I lost my first place. And no, 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 you don't. I will murder every last one of you if I have to. Shy oh, damn it, please get me, please tell me I got gold. And I even hit him, wow. Okay, I got gold, thank God. Jeez, that was, that was a close one, that really was. But in the end, I managed to get gold. I didn't get a star ranking like I did last time, but that's fine. And like I said, as with the Egg Cup, I'll probably replay it on my own to get three, a three-star rank anyway. So it's not that bad. But yeah, that was the Zelda DLC. I showed off both cups, and uh, yeah, that was about it. And actually, I have a lot of time left over. You know what I'm going to do? I seriously did not expect this. Originally, I was just going to show off the two cups and two characters. But you know what? Since I have time, let me show off um, some of the other characters. So if you were just there for the cups, then the episode ends here, I guess. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, all that stuff. But if you want to continue watching, I'm actually going to show off... Uh, I'm going to go to Versus Race, and I'm actually going to show off Cat Peach. Meow. And I'm actually going to show off the two remaining cards. I'm going to show off... Um, the Blue Falcon and the Tanuki Girl. Actually, I'm not going to show the Tanuki Girl. I'm pretty sure no one cares about that. I'm pretty sure people care about the Blue Falcon. Let's go, man. And I'm going to do Mute City because Mute City was fun. Let's go. 
So, Blue Falcon and Mute City with Cat Peach. Um, like I said, you, you can skip this if you want, but I just have extra time in the episode because I finished a lot quicker than I thought I did. I would. And I decided to show off the last character with the Blue Falcon since that's what everyone wants to see anyways. So, basically, the only thing I didn't show off in this DLC was the Tanuki card, but I'm honestly... You guys don't care about that, do you? I'm sure people care about the Blue Falcon, though. And I want to show off every character anyway, so, yeah. Well, just like last time, um, basically... Also, Cappy looks ridiculous with the Blue Falcon. Wow. Um, Tanuki Mario was the same exact thing as Mario, but... But, uh... Thoughts. Come on, collect my thoughts. Um, Tanuki Mario was the same exact thing as Mario, except... Tanuki, like he was a costume change. Cat Peach is the same thing. Cat Peach is the same exact as Peach, but just a costume change. She's just a cat now. But yeah, just wanted to point that out. But yeah, this is fun. Um, I, I gotta say though, out of all the courses that we got in the DLC, Mew City is my favorite. I, I will probably race here all the time now. This is my favorite course. One of my favorite courses in the game now. It's kind of ridiculous. In fact, it might become my favorite. I don't know. Maybe that's why people love F-Zero so much. I don't know. I've said this in, in the last episode. Oh, wow. Um, but, like, we're not getting an F-Zero game. I'm pretty positive we're not. If we do, then, hey, I'll buy it. Why not? I've never played an F-Zero game in my life before, but I heard it's fun. And I can see why. If the courses are like this, I mean, I'm sure it's even harder than this, but you know what I mean. Then it must be good. So, uh, I don't know. This is a great course, though. And, uh, I'm, I, obviously I'm just showing off Cat Peach and the Blue Falcon right now, so that's really all I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. As my thoughts on the DLC, um, the DLC was a lot of fun, though. I still think they should have brought back five characters that were left on Mario Kart Wii. I, I'm like a broken record at this point, but I feel like they should have brought back Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, Birdo, Dry Bones, and King Boo. King Boo being the one I want to bring back the most since King Boo and Boo, I guess, since they're practically the same character. Um, I know they're not, but you know what I mean. Um, are my favorite Mario characters of all time. So if King Boo was there, I would use King Boo instead of Waluigi. I mean, I love Waluigi. Waluigi is my second favorite Mario character. But King Boo, man. King Boo is my favorite, and I would use him. And not only that, but King Boo is a heavy character, so I would use him regardless, since he has good stats as well. Sadly, they didn't bring back the characters. I don't know why they didn't, but oh well. I mean, not doesn't matter, I guess. But, yeah. I mean, other than that, the DLC was really good. I'm, I'm really surprised at how much content we got. Nintendo, you do DLC right. You really do. And I love you guys so much. Continue making great games, please. And also, um, for Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, will that have DLC? I don't know. Um, I doubt we'll have character DLC since, um, you know, they would have to balance the game more. I feel like we wouldn't get it. Um, but for stage DLCs, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what kind of DLC we'll get for Smash Bros. I mean, we'll see what happens. But, yeah. Oh, well. But that's about it. Uh, we're about to finish the race right now. Kind of ridiculous how I got second place. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I got first place in this when I was Tanuki Mari, but I got second place here. But whatever, I wasn't that serious anyways. Uh, but yeah, but that's about it. Um, that'll be it for this video. Uh, and I guess that's it for Mario Kart 8 for now. Um, the next Mario Kart 8 video will be the Animal Crossing DLC that comes out in May. I already pre-ordered it, so when, so when May comes, I will have it. Yeah, the Animal Crossing DLC... Just to remind you guys, um, you get to play as three characters, the Villager, Isabelle, and Dry Bowser. Dry Bowser being the one I'm most excited about, and I'm pretty sure people are most excited about as well. With four vehicles and eight tracks, just like the Zelda one. But, yeah, suppose that, I'm done with Mario Kart for now. So, with that, I've been Jeremy Techno, and I will see you guys in my current Let's Play, which is New Super Mario Bros. U. So, if you're new to my channel, watch my other Let's Plays, specifically New Super Mario Bros. U, since I'm currently doing it. And, uh, yeah, until then, I will see you guys then.